I, I want to um, I, I want to just begin by uh, saying how uh, how obviously how touched and honored I am. Uh, let me start, uh, Mr. Mayor. Uh, you know that you are an inspiration for Latinos, not just across the country, but really across the world. And I still have, believe it or not, that Time Magazine cover uh, that so featured you after your win uh, when you became mayor and were such an inspiration to us as a community. So, Antonio, thank you. Mr. Mayor, uh, you served, of course, also as America's mayor, as, as head of this organization. So let's give Antonio a big round of applause. And thank you for that very nice introduction. I really appreciate it. Uh, and of course, to Mickey, uh, thank you for bringing us together. You are a mentor, a, a good friend, and you just keep bringing us together, not just through the conferences, but so many other events. And I'm just honored uh, to know you and to be a friend and to uh, follow all your uh, Mickeyisms and your other book. Yeah. Get his other book as well. <laughs> um, let, let me just say a few things. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great privilege to be uh, awarded uh, amongst so many other mayors that I admire and respect. Uh, and have absorbed and learned so much from. And so I just want to thank all of you for being here at this reception. Uh, I, want to, I want to say that um, Antonio mentioned that uh, I was uh, the first in my city, well, I was uh, the first LGBT mayor, or uh, I was the youngest mayor elected at the time, uh, first Latino, and all those things I know matter to a lot of people, and they, and they certainly matter uh, to me. But nothing, no part of who I am no part of who I am uh, has defined me more than being an immigrant. And while all those things are important to me, uh, for me, my immigrant experience has absolutely made me who I am today. Uh, I, I came to the US when I was five years old, and, and Antonio was right. I, I learned my values by seeing my mother, my tia, my abuelita, clean other people's homes, work in thrift shops, work to pull money together so that we had enough to be a family. And seeing that hard work, I remember being in these homes and thinking, man, I wish I could live in a home like this one day. And we'd go back to our little apartment, all eight of us in, uh, in, a, in a small little apartment. But what I learned from the, these really strong women in my life is that you gotta fight for your dreams and what you believe in. And the values I think that my mother uh, passed down to me was values around hard work and loving your community. And so I al always honor her whenever I speak because uh, any award that I ever get, whether it was my diploma from, uh, from college and being the first in my family to go to college or being honored as a mayor, uh, these are shared awards with my mother and all of our families. And we should never forget how important our families are to what we do. So be, being the first in my family to go to college, uh, I remember uh, a lot of people uh, don't know this, and I, I was sharing with some of my friends. Uh, I wasn't a citizen when I was in college. I actually, when I came to the US uh, growing up, uh, I wasn't an American. I was a kid who didn't know and didn't like to talk about the fact that we uh, were not documented. And going through that experience of uh, not being an other and not being like everybody else really shapes you as a person. And a lot of people didn't realize, even when I got to college, I was still not a US citizen. I became a US citizen at 21 years old. And 15 years later, I was elected mayor of Long Beach. Now, I, I say that because for me, I want every single immigrant kid in the US to have the same chance that I got. I, I felt I was, I'm one of the lucky kids that got a chance to be an American like everybody else. And if you can believe it, I'm a US citizen today and my family, my entire family are US citizens today because a Republican president, Ronald Reagan, signed an amnesty bill in a bipartisan Congress. And I would hope, I, I would hope that uh, we would, uh, as, as two parties, uh, still work together to get immigrants the same opportunity that my family and I got. Uh, I want to say that um, at 21, I remember I was about to graduate college 
And I got called to finally become a citizen. And I, I say this because I think it's important. The best day of my life was the day I became an American. I will never have a better day than the day I became an American. And that single day, I became as American as all of my friends, as American as all of you. And that experience and the fight for our brothers and sisters to gain citizenship is something that we should never, ever turn our back on as a country and as a community. It's incredibly important. And I know, I know we have, uh, uh, I know this is a bipartisan event. You know, as, as a Democrat, I know we have a lot of Republican friends here. Um, and I think we can all agree that, you know, immigration and supporting uh, immigrants and people is, is bipartisan. This is not a partisan uh, issue or should be a partisan issue uh, in our country. Now, let me also just say that uh, I, I feel honored to be able to support my community. Um, I'm mayor of my town. I'm mayor of my city and I can't think of a better job than to be mayor of your own community. And it's an honor that I take very seriously. I tell my constituents all the time that I wake up every single morning and I'm excited to go to work. I wake up every single morning and I'm like, I have the best job in the country. I am mayor of what I think is the best city in the United States, which is Long Beach, of course. Uh, and I know all of you have other favorite cities and, and that's okay. But as I, as, I, as I close, I just wanna share a few things about, um, about Long Beach because uh, like, like the mayor said, um, we're a big town. It's a huge metropolis on the water, one of California's largest cities, one of the largest cities in the United States. And we are experiencing, uh, uh, I think, a, a unique time for our city's history. Currently in the city of Long Beach, we have the lowest unemployment that we have had in the history of our city ever since we've ever recorded the unemployment rate. Our crime rate is the lowest it's been in 40 years. While, while homelessness has gone up in other parts of the county and the state, Long Beach has declined by 20%. And, and the, I say these things because I, some, of, some of my team and staff is here. It's not, you know, one mayor doesn't automatically magically make things great. Uh, it takes uh, multiple forms and leaders and mayors and staff and community leaders to make these things happen. And so I'm, I'm really proud of the city of Long Beach. I'm proud that we're leading on climate change. I'm proud that we're leading on issues around education. I'm proud that we're leading on issues supporting and empowering immigrants. And I'm proud that we lead uh, the state on the important issues that matter to all people, regardless of race, who you love, where you're from, whether you're born, whether you're an American, whether you're undocumented. Uh, we try to treat people equally as human beings, uh, more importantly than anything else. And so I'm, I'm, I'm here to say thank you uh, Mr. Mayor, thank you for, uh, for the award. Mickey, thank you for the recognition to the sponsors. Thank you. It's an honor to be mayor of Long Beach. It's an honor to be an immigrant in this great country. Support other immigrants and they can get a shot like I did. Thank you very much.